Jon Stewart is famous for political punchlines, but today the former late night comedian delivered a serious message to Congress. Stewart blasted lawmakers for failing to extend health care funding for 9-11 first responders. Many firefighters and police officers who worked at Ground Zero after the September 11th attacks have been stricken with cancer and other illnesses. Those who joined Stewart on Capitol Hill gave him a standing ovation. Our Nancy Cordes is there. You are ignoring them. In a hearing room packed with first responders, Stewart berated the lawmakers before him. Your indifference cost these men and women their most valuable commodity, time. The September 11th Victim Compensation Fund has helped tens of thousands of people who inhaled deadly toxins at Ground Zero. Former NYPD Detective Luis Alvarez will undergo his 69th round of chemotherapy tomorrow. This fund is not a ticket to paradise. It is there to provide for our families when we can't. But the $7.4 billion Congress approved in 2015 has nearly run out, forcing the fund's administrator to slash payouts. This should be flipped. This hearing should be flipped. These men and women should be up on that stage, and Congress should be down here answering their questions as to why this is so damn hard and takes so damn long. Congress has balked at the price tag before. Right now we have a $22 trillion federal debt. But the former Daily Show host and longtime advocate argued ailing heroes shouldn't be left in limbo. The official FDNY response time to 9-11 was five seconds. Five seconds. They did their jobs with courage, grace, tenacity, humility. 18 years later, do yours. There is bipartisan support for renewing these funds. And this afternoon, when I asked Senate leader Mitch McConnell if he backs the move, he said he does. That's an encouraging sign, Margaret, from someone who has held up similar funds in the past. After a very powerful call to action, Nancy Cordes, thank you.